guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a working drawer with commands, so the materials you need are a repeating command blocks, command blocks, redstone repeaters, and redstone dust, and then we'll just use beehive for now, but those other blocks, actually you need beehive barrel and this for the drawer, so this will be the drawer you can use like any block you want and then what you'll want to do is place a repeater with four ticks behind it then leave this out to a command block and make your drawer here it can be like however you want your drawer to look Slash clone I just set up the command by looking at the first block and then second block I want to clone. And then say I want it here, I would do this. So if I break that and run the command, it'll clone that there. So then just copy that command and paste it in here. So when you press the button, this happens. After that, you want to set up the repeating command block that says execute if block. Then you'll want to get the chords for this block by using slash set block and then just copy these coordinates right here. And do oops, polished axon button, and then you want to or whatever button you're using, and you set powered to true. Then after that, type run. So next what you'll want to do is just place a random block here and do set block this then set it to a redstone block and then copy that command and paste it here so if you want to test it when you press this button oh oops, oops my bad my bad so if you press this, you'll see it set this to here. Set a redstone running this way with two four tick repeaters coming out of each side from here, extend it twice, and from here extend it once. So here you'll want to make a command block. And again, slash. Never mind, just take this one. So slash clone and you just do this twice since you're only cloning a single block then so that'll clone it to here then you'll need to make one make one to set this block to air and set this to blackstone button so slash set I'm so bad. Set block air. And copy and paste that here. Then in this one, you'll need to set, set block here. Black stone button or whatever button you're using. And then you need to set it so it's facing the right direction. So, uh, just like experiment until you get the right one. So, this is mine, so I would copy this and then paste it in here. And our final command is to set this block to air. So, just. 
that in there and then cover this up. Here, sorry, I, I accidentally didn't add the second coordinate. You need to do this and get the coordinate for this. this in here and now it should work so I'll keep that in there press a button and yes when it comes back out I can do whatever I want here comes back out it'll be exactly the same so now here I'll clear my inventory if you want to make it look good what I just usually do put this here Something like this on the sides, then bop, oops, oops, wrong thing, this, and then yeah, hope you enjoyed this video.